Hello, it's Molly from The Alternative. This is Get Involved, a show where I talk to music people about the stuff that they're working on lately. I might actually run out of slashes when describing what Noel Janashevitz does on behalf of her collective Doors at Seven. Noel is a filmmaker slash DIY show booker slash music festival organizer slash podcast host slash general scene booster in New Paltz, New York and beyond. I interviewed her about how she turned what was initially a documentary about the music scene she loved into a full-fledged community that keeps the rock and roll rolling. And I met her ferret. Let's go. It had basically been like one year of like the lockdowns essentially and not having shows in person. And I was just so emo from being honest about not being able to like be a part of our music community here in New Paltz and all of that because of, you know, the lockdowns and stuff. So I was like, I feel like right now, like the best thing we can do is like kind of document what was going on at that time. New Paltz's music scene was like, I like a golden age. I swear it was just a community so involved with one another. Um, so I really wanted to document that. That is what we did. We filmed it throughout the first half of 2021. And then for the premiere of it, we hosted a two-day music festival, which is what um, got me into booking shows, essentially. So I assume was that, like, super crash course and, like, uh, everything you need to do to book a, book a show for a, a two-day festival? I had never even booked, like, a house show before, so I don't know why I was like, yeah, a whole music <laughs> festival? I can for sure do this. But I had reached out to Caleb from Crossroads, who ran the Crossroads house here in New Paltz. And I was like, hey, I would love <laughs> some help planning this. Him and a couple of his friends helped me plan it. We did it in Kingston for two days. We had uh, local vendors, art vendors come at it. We had food vendors too. It was really great for the first year. And then I was like, you know, I don't want to stop doing shows so then i tr started doing them at my house in new paltz i've i've never um posted a show myself like what what kind of goes into it and uh you know what what does it take to throw a successful house show uh communication that's the one thing i always say to everyone because you know like you're communicating with bands you're communicating with people who want to come to the shows and with the people like here at the house yeah really strong like team of your friends or you know close people you like to work with who are also you know dedicated to bringing music to the community because like you know hosting shows in basements can like be very difficult at times because there are people there who you know just want to party right um but there are also the people there who are solely there for the music which is great to see and we always have people come up to us and tell us that but yeah communication is always the biggest thing at the end of the day i truly think our house would have burned down <laughs> at this point if we weren't talking to one another so Doors at Seven is now, it, I feel like I've seen there's like kind of like an editorial part of it, like a booking part of it. Can you describe like what you what you do for for that organization? We have an editorial website, which I have like a team of writers who help write weekly content for music reviews, interviews, which has been so cool. It's got, given us a lot of opportunities. I do a lot of booking as well. I have so much experience in that now at this point after this past year, I've done so many shows. Um, so we also offer booking services. So I try to book um, shows in the Hudson Valley in general, not just New Paltz, because I feel like that really widens it and helps other touring bands as well as the local bands. Like touring bands hit us up. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so cute. I love ferrets. I did not think she was just going to jump right up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so we have also been helping people book their own tours, so that's been really cool too. And we also have a podcast. Amazing. <laughs> yes, it's called Seeping DIY, and what I try to do is when a band comes to play at our house, we also have them come on the podcast too, so it's really a chance to like really connect with the bands that are playing here. Neat. Okay, so you're busy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't ever have time for myself these days. I would love to ask just what what is the vibe of like the New Paltz slash like maybe Hudson Valley music scene in general right now? I'm honestly just so excited to see how much live music is in the area again. There are so many independent like DIY spaces popping up, not just here in New Paltz, but like the Albany music scene here in the Hudson Valley is also so prominent. And I've like made some really great connections there, especially with Rachel Freeman, who runs Bird House. Like, I have to attribute her to, like, any success I've had in Albany because she's been such a help there. Everyone is just trying to help each other succeed, I feel. Like, I can reach out to someone from, you know, the Albany scene, for example, and I'm like, hey, I've got these bands, but there's nowhere in New Paltz, anywhere in Albany. And most of the time, people are really willing to help. 
um, which is really great to see. And there's people who come up at the shows too, and they're like, we want to be a part of this. Like, we just don't know how we'd love to help out. Like, this is just amazing. And it's just, it's been so cool, like, to have the support. Any, like, recent shows that you've put on that you, uh, you know, thought, thought were especially, like, fun or fun or interesting? In February, we hosted a punk prom. So we had advertised it as that. Because, like, I've seen, like, DIY proms and stuff like that before. It's, like, nothing new, but I'd never seen it in New Paltz. So I was like, we should just do this out here, like, at our venue. So many people came. It was... It was honestly crazy. Like, it was probably one of the biggest shows when we, like, did the math of counting how many people were probably at the house. It was, like, over 300. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, that's insane. Like, it, it was, like, very overwhelming that night. I was like, this cannot, like, people cannot be, like, this excited about this lineup. Like, we've had shows before that have never, like, gone off this hard. And then when I was talking to people who came to the show, and they were like, I didn't get to go to prom. And I didn't even consider that like at all like especially because of you know covid but also there are people who are like i just skipped it because i didn't want to go and this is so much cooler to say that i did this than that for my prom and that was just that was something really cool to see that like we could um offer that to people that kind of reminds me of like the not not quite the same thing but like the emo night shows that are kind yeah. of around the country where like i feel like at least like the emo music maybe the first time around was stuff that, that people listened to more like privately or like couldn't really like share with people and then you go as an adult and like you're like oh my god yeah exactly yeah what advice would you give someone else who is also interested in doing something like like this oh yeah uh just do it i like was so afraid like when we first were considering doing shows at my last house and I was like, I don't think anyone's going to come. I don't know what I'm doing. I know like, cause I like knew nothing about music either. Like I have a background in filmmaking. So it was so out of uh, left field for me. It's like a thing that I feel like most people want to have in their community is some type of space, like independent space for the local musicians. And I just feel everyone should do it. Like, I just think it's even once in your life, like, even if you don't think it's a, you're about it, I feel like you would definitely find something that benefits you from it.